RegisRangers.com here. I've had volleyball coach Joel List and senior outside hitter Cannon Kepler following the team's 25-16, 28-26, 25-10 win over Western Colorado. Coach, undefeated weekend uh, to close out you know, at least this portion of our MAC play. We now have regional pod next, but just your thoughts on being able to get this victory and the undefeated weekend. Uh, it's exactly what we needed today. I think we needed to come out uh, and play our game. That was the, the talk we had before the match. And we needed to do that, especially the second set. Uh, it was very close. We only won by two. And I got to give a lot of credit to Western. They are very scrappy. Um, I know they're struggling with some injuries. And to come out and still play that hard um, with nothing to lose, I thought that was good. It was good on their part. It was good for us to, to go through that as well. And I thought we rebounded uh, after that and did a great job in the third set. Yeah. Team hits 489 tonight, Coach. Five, uh, 50 kills, just six errors. Hannah sit next to you. Eight kills, no errors on her 20 swings. What did you see w with the offense tonight? Uh? Yeah, the, uh, Mar did a great job of giving the ball to our hitters to be able to take advantage. Uh, I think we matched up uh, well against their block. And so that that is one thing, but to be able to execute is another. And we haven't been able to do that consistently. Uh, there's been a couple games where we wanted to take advantage of maybe a, a, a block matchup, and tonight we did. And so um, those numbers don't surprise me. I was hoping that's what we'd be able to do, and I'm proud of the team to, to be able to hit almost 500. You know, Hannah, for you, what did you see offensively tonight? Uh, you know, you and your fellow pin hitter, Hallie Tice, uh, combined 14 kills, no errors between the two of you on the, on the pins. Yeah, I think between Hallie and I, we've been really working on trying to be consistent and efficient at the same time and taking care of some of those out-of-system balls. So kudos to our back row players and Mara for giving us some good balls to hit, and I think that we handled that well tonight. I'll ask you this before I ask Coach. So in that second set, had to stave off a couple set points, uh, battle a little adversity going into extra points of Western. What was the message in the huddle? I mean, a lot of you guys are very experienced players at this point. What were you guys telling each – your, uh, each other as you were trying to you know stave off those set points yeah I think our maturity speaks for ourselves but in the huddles you know we were just trying to stay confident and give good eye contact to each other and just show that we knew that we could get the job done and just to stay focused on our side and get the game done all right coach you know uh you joked that the official said it you know you can't hold on to those timeouts you can't take right. them with you but you purposely did not want to call a timeout during that run can you explain why you wanted the team to play through that in the second set. Yeah, and I, I, could, I could feel everyone going, why is he not calling a timeout yet? Uh, there's times in a season where a team needs to define themselves, and we've been close uh, a few times at that, and I thought today would be a good time where we need to figure out uh, how to get through these things because there's going to be times where I might be out of timeouts at that point late in the game, and how are they going to handle it? So. Uh, it's it's risky business to do that, but uh, I think we I learned a lot that the team can take over themselves. They don't need me to get in the middle of it. They're they're in the zone at that point, um, and I think they're the ones that can get out of it or, and win it. And so it was good to see that they were able to do that, um, and it, and it went extra points. And then for me is then how did they rebound? Did they continue or are they just satisfied? Uh, in that in that third set, we started off. 8-1 uh, before they they called a timeout. So that, that, I think, defined, and we can rely on that uh, experience for the future, and we're, we're going to need it. And you segued perfectly, Coach, because right after, you know, you guys hold on to win set two, come out and take that 8-1 lead, win the third set 25-10. Uh, what did you see of just, you know, the team really kind of going for the kill right there? Don't let Western hang around. Western had built some momentum playing tough in that second set. Just what did you see? What was the difference in the third set? Yeah, they, I, I, there was a lull in the game, and we talked about are they going to continue to show dominance. Uh, that was the word we are using this weekend, and they did. Um, I thought Mara's choices of sets and the matchups were good, and then the execution with our hitters were, were, was also good. Um, and then holding them to 143 means our defense is doing its job. So our block affects uh, the attack, and then – you know, I don't know how many digs Haley had, but she was all over the place. She had 11 digs, so that helps our offense as well. So uh, happy in that third set. I thought uh, we grew a lot through that. Uh, 13 different players had a dig tonight, Coach. Um, and I thought someone who really came off the bench and played well was, was Kaylee Starkey. Uh, two assists, one service, uh, one service A, six digs as well. Just uh, the opportunity that presented itself, it looked like you needed – 
uh, gave her a chance to give you a spark in the second set, and she did. Yeah, she she started uh, there in the first, and in, and then into the second. She did a great job. Um, it's asking a lot for a freshman to come in and and do the things that she's doing. So she 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 struggled a little bit and so received the first few balls, but uh, I'm proud of her for how she was able to settle in. And it, she's a gamer, and so. Uh, her serve got tougher and tougher as the longer she played. And so those, that's the depth that we need. Uh, and she's pushing every day in practice to make our whole team better. And so all those roles uh, have to be filled for us to be a great team. Hannah, um, up next we have regional pod play. Uh, number six, MSU Denver. Number nine, Colorado Mesa. Two teams, two rivals that we know well. Just what do you anticipate with next week's matches, even though they don't count towards the RMAC standing, still be you know really important matches towards – our regional hopes. Yeah, I think these are two games that we've been looking forward to, and this week we're ready to get after it, and we have a lot of high expectations for us, and we're ready to avenge a loss to Mesa especially. And, yeah, we're just ready for the competitiveness that the both teams are going to give us, and we're ready to rise to that. And for you, Coach, it's almost like a Colorado Premier 2.0, right, really yes. quick. Uh, having that these great of teams um, and to be able to get to play that to help our strength of schedule, uh, to help prepare us uh, for postseason type of play uh, is great to be able to do right now. And so I like the new setup, uh, uh, what the conference has done with our schedule and this power pod. And being you know across town in Denver, it, it's going to be good to be able to play on the road and be able to play well on the road. And we've, we've done a good job here at home, but uh, I'll be interested to see if the team is able to be competitive on the road. And just what do you anticipate? I mean, two, it'll be three nationally ranked teams playing each other on a weekend and you know this the timing of this you guys are going to see each other right now right before you know here in another week or two we're going to see each other in the RMAC tournament again right um I think the more often we can play good teams uh that's why I schedule the schedule I do the better we can be uh if we can face adversity at any point in the season and, and learn it and be able to grow from it helps us in the postseason. So it's going to be fun to play great teams. Um, I think we have Metro first, uh, and so we'll we'll figure out how we can um, compete against them this week during practice. And then, you know, we are we've already prepared for Mesa, so we know what we need to do and do better uh, to have a have a better outcome against them. But it's going to be fun. All right. Thank you both. Thanks. Thank you.